Hello guys, welcome to another After Effects tutorial, and this one's actually gonna be very easy, and but still very cool, so it's going to be super speed, as you can see here. And of course, here. Okay, uh, it's actually very easy, and most of you may have guessed how it's done already. And it's basically just speeding up footage in the correct way. So, drop your footage into a new composition. And uh, I'm gonna set the in and out points first, so we should start about here and stop here. Okay, trim that. I'm gonna right click, time, enable time remapping. And this basically allows you to play the footage uh, however fast or slow you want. So first let's set the point which we want super speed to start, so about here, set a keyframe, go all the way to the end, set a keyframe, and then find the point at which you want super speed to start, which is about here. And as you can see uh, on normal speed it looks pretty stupid, but you know that's how you're supposed to film it. Okay so basically what you can do next is drag these last two keyframes closer to the first keyframe so it goes very fast let's just check out how that looks that uh, could be a bit faster like so okay next we are going to add some motion blur because right now it looks like well I just sped it up which is what I did but you know Need to make it a bit more convincing, so I'm gonna type in CC Force Motion Blur. That gives you this plugin here. And drop it in. And what that does is basically that's motion blur to whatever uh, is moving in the frame. So in this case, my friend Kenneth here is moving, so I guess we're gonna need motion blur on his, on his body. And uh, if you can see, let's turn it off. No blur. Turn it on, we have blur. So basically just mess with the settings, uh, probably increase the shutter angle a bit, maybe some sampling, and uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's play it back. Alright, now we're going to right click this keyframe, keyframe assistant, and go to easy ease in, and that just makes it a little like... It kind of breaks at the end, so it's kind of smooth and not so uh, sudden when he stops. And then another key to sound this effect is to add some sound effects. So get some sound of some swishing or some windy sound, and that should do it. Okay, let's take a look. Could have been better, like that. Yeah, that's about it guys, it's really not that hard at all, this effect. And of course, you can do uh, more things like add some smoke to the feet here, like what I did for the X-Men clip. Here, and then here. See, there's some smoke there. And of course, uh, try to be as stable as possible when you're filming, because if you shake the camera, uh, the entire scene is conceived as moving so it might motion blur everything and you don't really want that you just want your actor to be blurred so yeah guys uh, it's really not that hard but still pretty cool okay if you have any questions or comments please post it in the comments and if you want a specific effect of a tutorial let me know in the comments as well and, uh, good luck and have fun we'll see you guys next time